interesting. Mm -hmm. What was your perspective of them playing them and now close up, you know, up close in person? Well, it's always going to be, when, when you look at a team like Miami, it's always going to be it's a very talented team, a very fast team, and a very strong team. So, you know, when you look at the, what you're seeing out here and you're just getting, continuing to get better and better, it, it looks very promising. We're extremely happy with the process and the progress of our players, and uh, that's something that everyone is excited about. What did you know about, about Tyler, Jake, Takari before you got here, and then what are some things you've learned about them the last few months or so? So when I was at another school, I recruited all three of them. So I got to know them a little bit, and they're always fantastic young men. And sure enough, when you step in the meeting with them, they're extremely bright, extremely uh, smart kids. And, and you can tell just the way they, they drive, they want to get better every single day, and they listen, they're coachable, and it's, it's a pleasure to coach them. Can you say something about each one individually, a little special about each one? Uh, sure. You know, So uh, Tyler is a young man that I got to spend some time before at, at, at another school, and uh, very intellectual young man. He's always uh, very asks questions and he's always looking to get better and, and always wants to know why and I think they're all three of them are like that but Tyler is, is um, uh, again a guy that watches a lot of film and understands what we're doing and has picked it up tremendously fast uh, Jay Garcia the same way uh, he's a very smart kid and very school very well coached and you know you, you watch him and, and he's always in, in the office asking questions and watching film and, and trying to get better as well and Jacuri is a, a younger younger kid and he's um, right now it's a little going, sometimes goes a little bit fast for him but he's starting to catch on and, and he's improving today he had a great day so we're very happy with his pro progress extremely uh, satisfied with what we saw today with JB and you know we're excited about the entire deal and uh, it's a very South Florida coach and staff I mean you're a Miami guy Mario's mm -hmm. a Miami guy everyone we're talking to today is from South Florida I mean what's it like just coaching on the staff for half the it seems like almost everyone's from South Florida uh, it's like family that's the, the whole atmosphere you know a lot of these guys I've known for many years I either coached against them when I was coaching high school and just growing up here or played against them in high school as well so in a lot some of some of these guys I coached with well before so it's, it's family I, I know every single one a lot of the guys here and the guys that come in and just blend it in with them just great people and happy to come every day to work with them. Who'd you play against in high school? Uh, Coach Cristobal and, and Alex. Do you remember the results of that, those I do are? remember. I'll <laughs> let you ask them. <laughs> you, you coach with uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have they changed their approach and their maturation as coaches? Yes, sir. We're, we're, we're all gotten older and, and wiser, I, I can say, and, and you can see it. And, and Coach Cristobal himself, and obviously he's been through some uh, excellent programs and head coaches that he's worked with. And uh, Alex, same thing. Uh, you know, just uh, being around other programs and other coaches, because you learn so much being in other parts of the country. Then you come back here and you kind of teach those things that, that you've learned and gotten better yourself as a coach, and you continue to grow as an individual and, and in the profession. So, And we're learning. We learn every day. We got some really bright coaches on our staff, extremely bright. And um, you, I'm learning from them every single day, just like hearing them talk in the meetings and so forth. The last couple of uh, quarterback coaches have also been the offensive coordinator, and you were offensive coordinator. Now mm -hmm. you're just quarterback's coach passing game. Right? Yes. What, what's the difference when you're just the quarterback's coach slash passing game and not the OC? Well, it, there's a, well, the main difference is you don't call plays. Uh, okay. But you know, you know, as a quarterback, you have to be dialed in in the offense. Uh, I have to be in the same page with Coach Gaddis. Is what his thought process is, and he's got an excellent offense that he's displaying right now in spring ball. And I am an extension of him with the quarterbacks. So the, 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 as far as the teaching, that doesn't change. The only difference, again, is you're not calling plays, but you're still coaching the quarterbacks and how to run the plays and do the things that you need them to do to be successful. Do you think Who's got more questions for Coach Barnes? Coach Gaddis did last week or two weeks ago that you know he liked having that separation where you're a quarterbacks coach and an offensive coordinator. You don't have to worry about wearing both hats. I mean, do you find that to be helpful? That you can kind of focus on just coaching the quarterbacks. Absolutely, because you get to really be detailed with your position and help those guys develop fundamentally a lot more. Uh, as a coordinator, you got more responsibilities at times, and that kind of takes a little bit away from you uh, for the most part. But overall, it's just it's, it's something that has been working great for us, and it's going to continue to work great for us. It's uh, uh, like I said, we got a great staff and, and the whole as a organization, but offensively, we got a great staff and everyone extremely bright, and everybody does a great job. Well, Frank, um, Last question in, in coaching, it, it, you know, typically egos come into play and guys who have become coordinators uh, don't necessarily want to make the kind of move you're making here to be part of the staff and be part of the team in general. Why was it appealing to you and, and where are you hoping this leads you as you move forward? Well, the main thing is um, obviously 
your home. You're coaching at home, and, and obviously our head football coach, and, and just being part of this organization, and the way he runs things, and do things you want to grow as a coach. And then you, you, there's a plan, there's goals for each one of us, and uh, one of the plans that I want, I want to be able to develop myself as a coach, and, and, and in the future, get myself better, to be in a better situation. And I think with Coach Cristobal and the rest of the staff, and we have the opportunity to do so. What we got? All right, Coach Smith, quick question. Uh, in regards to what are you looking for in the running back room, uh, considering you came from Ole Miss last year, you had that three-headed attack in the running back room. Are you looking for something more of a committee or a bell cow in, in the running back room? What are, what are the uh, characteristics that you're looking for for guys to separate in the room? For now, we're, we're, we're focused on consistency. You know, this, this is new for all of us, including the guys who were here last year, newcomers like myself, Henry Pairs. We're trying to become consistent and, and understand uh, the system that's being put in. So right now, I'm just looking for those guys to be consistent, show up early, uh, and be dialed into the assignments. But that, that's all I can ask for right now. Coach, could you please give us an assessment of Henry, his skill set, what he does well from being with him the last couple of years? He's a really talented player. He can play in and out of the box. Uh, he's very diverse. He can run routes like a receiver. He has elite feet and elite eyes. So uh, he, he's a big addition uh, to this program and to the running back room. How much evaluation do you got to do? Uh, like what projection, I guess, of what the running back room will look like in fall when you know when guys like Jalen and Jamie are out for uh, spring? Uh, it's hard for me to do. I am very much a be where your feet are guy. So uh, what's today? Uh, March 20. I'm in March 26th. <laughs> I don't look down the road right now again. The biggest thing for all of us is, is understanding the culture, uh, understanding the things that are asked for, of us in the organization, and just getting better and getting to know each other. You know, I, I still got a lot of time to spend with these guys outside of this building. So right now, we're, we're just going to do Tuesday, and we'll worry about the next day when it comes. I'm going to ask you what stood out about that, Franklin, when you evaluate the tape. I don't know if you recruited them at your former school. Uh, that, 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 that has been really good. He, he is naturally, he, he has a, a, a great feel uh, for the inside and outside game that we've installed so far. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a bigger guy, and usually guys like that, they, they tend to struggle bending. But right now, he's been he's been right on pace where we're asking him to be, and, uh, you know, he's still learning. I love that. He loves football. He has a great personality inside of the room, so he's going to be able to bring something to the room, and he has a good skill set. What's, what's, it like, or what's it like for you? I mean, half the staff, it seems like, from South Florida, from Dade or Broward or Palm Beach. I mean, what's it like just being around so many guys from South Florida at Miami? Well, I tell you, we always, you know, there's always some input on food options. <laughs> Everybody uh, kind of knows where a place to eat is, but I, I think just as a whole, uh, this is a unique staff, uh, a mixture with veteranship, young guys like myself who's just kind of getting started in the business. So, you know, I, I'm appreciative of being here, and uh, you know, I love coming to work every day with my colleagues. You know all these, you've known all these guys, obviously, right? All these uh, guys from Miami. These coaches pretty well. A lot of my legends, Coach Cristobal, Coach Ponce, Coach Maribal. You know, I'm, I'm uh, not going to say a lot younger. I don't make it seem like the old man, but you know, a lot of these coaches, you know, they were nobody really recruited me, but they were they were coaching at the college level when I was when I was a player. So uh, I learned a lot about them when I got here, uh, and look forward to learning a lot. How much is this offense in the future? I think it's going to be good. I think, uh, you know, Coach Gaddis has a lot of experience at calling plays. I think, you know, any smart coordinator, uh, and, you know, I'm saying that about him, uh, he has the system, but he'll fit it to the players because uh, players make plays work. So I think that this is a, a you know, if, if you watch him over the years, his pro-style offense, he's had a lot of production. So uh, for me, it's a little bit different. I've been a part of a tempo offense that's kind of non-traditional, not pro-style. And so for me to come back here and kind of get back in phase with the things I was doing while I was playing in the college and in the pros, uh, I think it's a big benefit to me as well. Say it one more time. Uh, he's learning. He's learning. He's, uh, he's in his playbook. He's, he's, you know, he, he's a part of what we're trying to do culture-wise, and I think he's quietly grown into a leader uh, by the things he's doing uh, on and off the field. So uh, he's been good so far. Can you talk, can you talk about Trevante Sis and how he's developed and how he's improved? What do you expect from him as a player? 
And, you know, it, it's uh, obviously he has talent uh, when you watch his, watch his tape, you know, recruiting him the whole year. He's a big kid who can run, who understands the game. Uh, but I'll tell you, like any other player, it's, it's really difficult to come in as a freshman. And it makes it a little more difficult when you come in in the summer. But uh, I know his mental makeup and the way he loves football, he's going to come in and put his best foot forward. So when he, just, when he does join the team, uh, we're going to be happy to have him. When you're evaluating players, is there something you look for that maybe people missed on recruiting you um, when you were a player? Uh, now that you're at a big-time school, is there something that you look for now similar to your own situation? Uh, a, a little bit. You know, I'll say just from a, a, a skill set, and it really doesn't have to do with me. I know coaches missing out on me as a player. It's just the things that I think make running backs special. It's more so, uh, you know, the guys that I've been around, my idols, the Frank Gores, the Edron James, the Maurice Jones, dude, those guys. Look for guys who have a natural feel, have good feet, good eyes. The other traits, the other physical traits, you know, when you come into a strength and conditioning program, you kind of can add on to that. You can have a guy who's not extremely fast but has elite feet and elite eyes and when they get faster than an elite player. So you look for those basic traits in a player. Myself, just a guy who has a natural feel for the game because as a coach, you, you know, I like to tell those guys, they're like the meat and you're the season. You know, you just want to be able to season the meat, you know. And so, uh, and most importantly, a guy who loves football. You know, you want to get players that love football that are self-motivated uh, because those are the ones who are going to uh, maximize the potential. So with Jaleel, what jumped out when you watched him in high school, the tape and live action, just yeah. early impressions of him? Just athleticism, uh, able to stretch the field, uh, you know, very intelligent young man, comes from a great background with his family, uh, just, just somebody that I was excited to coach and he's doing a great job. Elijah, see that we could watch How's he coming? Absolutely. He's improving every single day. You know, uh, it's all about hard work and culture here and uh, doing things the right way. He fits right into that category. You know, that's something that he uh, works on is making sure he does all the right stuff the right uh, right way. And uh, he's somebody that's going to be uh, really, really positive for us. With those two guys, Elijah and Jaleel, body-wise, yeah. Stephen, what do you and Aaron and Coach Cristobal and Josh want to accomplish? Where are they now compared to where you want them in August? Um, you know, we have certain, we have an H position and a Y position. Um, you know, certain guys can, uh, with the H position, you'll be certain size as far as being able to stretch the field in the Y position or in line. Um, so physical-wise, just making sure their structure and strength matches to what we need them to perform at. But, you know, obviously that's, uh, our, our strength coach is unbelievable. Our coach failed, and he'll make sure that we're, we're going to be in What's the transition been like for you, you know, for the previous staff and now you're the only on the staff still here, and what's it been like for you? Well, I just, I love being a Miami Hurricane. I'm excited to be a Miami Hurricane. I'm excited about what we're doing here, what Coach Cristobal is putting together with, um, obviously, with the culture and everything that's going on, and so I'm just excited to be a Hurricane. And speaking of the culture, I mean, it seems like every everyone we're talking to today is from South Florida, you're from West Palm Beach. I wasn't like being on a staff where it seems like half the guys are South Florida guys. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, being around guys from your hometown and so forth is awesome, but, you know, we also have guys on the staff that's that's not from you know South Florida so it's just all about one thing is we just have a bunch of good people you know and um, just working hard and, and all working as one unified. What's the goal for Will this spring? I mean how do you take him to another level? Um, just he, he continues to work hard and just um, uh, Will's an unbelievable young man on and off the field so just kind of you know just continue to work on his uh, craft and, and, and he'll be okay he'll be very successful. Dominique, any niche for him? Obviously, came in with a reputation being good blocker. What, what could he become? Hey, he caught the ball well today. You know, I'm excited about him. He's working hard. You know, I, I never like to uh, take the tight end position and say, hey, this guy can only do this, this guy can only do that, because that's why us as coaches got to try to get him better. And um, as a staff, we work to get the guys better so they can be great in all areas. And um, that's what we work on. Last question for Coach Bill. Talk about what's expected from tight end blockers in this block this week. Yeah. Um, as far as, as blockers catching a ball, it's our, our, our um, thought process and what we talk about within this building is how you do anything is how you do everything. And so we want to make sure that we're doing all the small details right on and off the field. When it comes to blocking, we want to make sure we're taking the proper steps, uh, small small amount of details of doing the right, uh, right stuff, and then as far as same thing in the passing game. So it's all about details and taking the proper progression.